Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have a brand new update for the GoodLock application for a specific module, which allows me to do some really cool things. For example, if I tap the Recents button, it actually allows me to customize my recent screen just like this, as you can see. So let's dive in and talk about that. Now, to get the latest update, you want to click the link down below. That's going to take you to my website, okay? Once you're at the website, you want to scroll down just a little bit, Right under download, you want to click the first link right here. That's going to take you to the store, to the home up module, and just click on the update to get the latest update. Now, some people don't have the GoodLock module that is required for this application. There's also a link right over here. You can click that link to get the GoodLock module, uh, which allows you to have the home up module inside it. So let's open up GoodLock, scroll down a little bit, and here it is, the Home Up module. Now, when I click on this one, okay, at the bottom, you are going to see a brand new option that is the new update, the Task Changer. And the Task Changer basically is, when I tap on this one, this is the Task Changer screen right here. So if I go inside it, the biggest thing here is we have a layout option, okay? First, you want to enable this to use it. Then you can go from the list view, which is what we have right now. You tap on this one, it gets the list view. And if I tap it again, I can go inside, I can go to the grid view, okay? That's the grid view right there. And then if I tap on stack, that is gonna be the stack view. So if I tap on this one, I have a bunch of stacks, as you can see. Now, when I go inside, we also have a bunch of other options at the bottom that I'm gonna be talking about. But the big thing I wanna mention with this task changer is, there was a problem with this. It kind of disappeared on many phones. And also from the GoodLock module, people have been asking to get this back. And of course, it is finally back under the Home Up application in GoodLock at the bottom, okay? So Task Changer is going to allow you to change everything in relation to the Recents app menu over here. So if I go over here, one thing I'm going to show you guys is look at this. On the top, it says GoodLock, okay? right here next to the icon. If I were to disable the app label, if I were to tap this again, it's not going to do this. It's not going to show me the icon and it's not going to show me the actual text. It's just going to give me the icon of the application in the middle and it's going to be larger. Of course, I can tap this to get more uh, options here. But when I go back here and uh, enable app label, now if I go to Recents app, uh, you can see that we have a smaller icon, but it, it's, it can still be tapped to get those options, okay? And then we can also center the currently running application. So if I enable this, every time I go into my recent apps by tapping the button or using the swipe gestures, it's going to center the actual running active application right over here. And then on the top, we have a search bar, okay? If you don't want this, you say hide search bar. Now we don't have the search option, honestly. I don't even know why anybody would have that there. I just go to my search by swiping up like this and searching from here, okay? So you can disable that one as well. Now I want to scroll down a little bit. We also have the gesture settings. These are going to apply if you have gestures enabled. So if I were to go to my settings right over here, you can see I'm using the buttons over here right now. If I go to display and if I go over to my navigation bar and if I go to swipe gestures, You'll notice now I have the swipe gestures enabled. Now let's bring that up again, scroll over, go inside. Now we have four features for the actual gestures. So if you are somebody that uses gesture navigation as opposed to button navigation as I do, you can use these options right here for various settings to customize your uh, experience. I'm gonna go back to buttons for now. That's just the way I like it, okay? And of course, the biggest thing with, uh, with this thing is Honestly, this guy right here. Now, we have a small problem here. It is missing a couple of different layout types. There were more in the past. Now, we have the list, the grid, and the stack. But the original list view, which gives you horizontal lines of applications, when you tap this button, seems to be not here. Hopefully, it comes right back in with a new update. It's great that they brought this back under the Home Map application but they did take away a couple of features, which is never a good thing because we love maximum customization. Now, for now, I'm going to keep it at grid. So that, I think, is the best one here. It gives you the maximum view. I have 
access to all these various applications as you can see so that is absolutely fantastic but that's the quick update for the good lock application under home up uh, for task changer and of course if you're new to this whole thing we also have the uh, home screen customization folder customization things i've talked about on my channel before many times but with the home screen for example i can tap on this one and i can change the grid of icons i can have on the actual home screen now in this option here my favorite is the loop pages so when i tap on loop pages and if i go home i can loop through pages okay uh, if i don't have this enabled right here so let me just pinch this disable this guy right over here now i can loop through pages as you can see okay now i do want to let you know if you have this enabled you cannot loop through pages unfortunately all right just something to keep in mind so let's uh, go back over here go into the uh let's just close all this stuff let's go back to good luck over here i'm going to go into the home up applications so much happening here you can also customize your folders if you so desire uh, you can also change the folder grid something i talked about in my video yesterday but in here you can also do extra customization on your folders when you tap this the folder expands you can customize this area even more but those are not big deals they're existing features the big thing was the fact that task changer has found its way back into good luck it's now going to be under home up now one more cool thing i want to quickly mention is the backup and restore feature so this backup and restore feature actually backs up the layout of your home screen so if i go out here you can see i have a specific home screen if i scroll over empty screen empty screen so what i can do is i can back this up and restore later that is very useful because if you're customizing your screen you want to test something out you want to experiment a little bit uh, you can mess up your home screen and you can also back it up and restore it so let me go over here and let's just say i want to back one right now i'm going to tap on immediate backup so i just have a brand new backup done off my home screen okay at 8 31 p.m 8 31 p.m now when i go out and let's say i just deleted this by mistake right over here remove it's gone okay that's a small example but just think of something even bigger let's say you messed up the whole screen what you can do is you can go back here okay to back up and restore and you can click on this image right here you tap it it says do you want to restore this file you say okay you get a little um, you know refresh stuff and look at that the home is right back there again if i were to take this off uh take this off it took me a while to make these folders look at that now they're all gone i gotta make them again right again if i go back here tap this guy tap on ok it's gonna restore uh that stuff right back on my home screen which i think is absolutely fantastic any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right